New Horizons is two years away from its next target. NASA's New Horizons mission is just two years away from its next target, a small object in the Kuiper Belt that orbits the Sun nearly a billion miles beyond Pluto. New Horizons is currently speeding at a velocity of 14.32 km per second relative to the Sun. It's almost halfway between Pluto and its next target, a Kuiper Belt object called 2014 MU69. 2014 MU69 measures between 25 km to 45 km across. Scientists are not sure how bright the object is. Its albedo reading, the measure of how much light reflects from a surface, may be 0.04 or slightly brighter. By comparison, Pluto has an albedo reading between 0.49 to 0.66, while Mars has a reading of 0.15. New Horizons is scheduled to fly by 24MU69 on January 1, 2019, making it the most distant object humans have ever explored. New Horizons was designed to fly well past Pluto. It carries extra hydrazine fuel for a Kuiper Belt object flyby, and its communication system is designed to work far beyond Pluto. Here's a look at the rest of our coverage of the mission. NASA's New Horizons spacecraft to begin Pluto mission. Nine years and three billion miles after it was launched into space, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft has awoken from hibernation and is preparing to travel to Pluto and the Kuiper Belt. The New Horizons spacecraft, which weighs about half a ton, is about the size and shape of a baby grand piano. Its destination is Pluto and the asteroid-rich Kuiper Belt. The mission's objectives include mapping the surface composition and temperatures of Pluto and Kuiper Belt objects, as well as their geology and morphology. New Horizons has gone into hibernation 18 times for a total of 1,873 days since its launch in January 2006 in order to minimize wear and tear on its components and reduce the risk of system failures. It was woken by a preset alarm on Saturday. It is expected to make its closest approach to Pluto on July 14, 2015. It will then explore the Kuiper Belt from 2016 to 2020. New Horizons is expected to be 100 astronomical units away from the Sun by 2038, and will be able to send data about the outer heliosphere if it is still operational by then. Next target chosen for NASA's New Horizons mission. NASA has selected a potential destination for the New Horizons mission, following its historic flyby of Pluto. The potential destination for NASA's New Horizons spacecraft it's a comet-like object in the Kuiper Belt, known as 2014 MU69, about a billion miles away from Pluto. The object measures about 45 kilometers across, which is more than 10 times larger than typical comets. New Horizons has enough extra hydrazine fuel for a flyby to a Kuiper Belt object. Its communication system can also work from far beyond Pluto. If the plan is approved, the spacecraft would be expected to reach 2014 MU69 on January 1, 2019. The proposed mission will be evaluated independently before receiving official approval. Pluto may be home to ice-spewing volcanoes. A probe has found evidence of cryovolcanoes on Pluto's surface, suggesting the dwarf planet may not be as inactive as scientists originally thought. When NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flew past Pluto on July 14, it scanned the planet's surface and has slowly been transmitting data back to Earth. The latest images show what appear to be two ice mountains, each with a depression on top, near the bottom of the planet's heart-shaped plain. The volcanoes, informally called Wright Mons and Picard Mons, are about 100 miles across and 2 and 3.5 miles high respectively. Unlike Earth volcanoes that eject lava, the structures on Pluto would likely release an icy slush containing nitrogen, ammonia and methane. Geological activity on the planet's surface indicates an internal heat source, possibly radioactive elements in its core. With only 20% of New Horizons data downlinked to Earth, scientists need to wait for the remaining pictures and data from the July encounter to confirm cryovolcanism on the dwarf planet. NASA probe captures best images of Pluto ever. NASA's New Horizons spacecraft has transmitted new images of Pluto that could very well be the best pictures of the dwarf planet that humans get to see for decades. The images, taken during the craft's flyby in July, offer a glimpse into our closest approach to Pluto yet. In this mini-movie released by NASA, 
we see a stretch of varied terrain, from craters to mountainous regions and glacier-covered ice fields. Captured at 10,000 miles above Pluto's surface and showing us features half the size of a city block, it's like Google Street View, but at the farthest reaches of our solar system. Look closely and you can clearly see the depths of those icy cratered plains, the layered walls of the craters. And this high-res image shows a field 75 miles long with a stunning orbital view of two ice mountains. At the time the shots were taken on July 14, 2015, New Horizons was somewhere between 2.5 and, and 4.5 billion miles away from Earth. More cool pics are on the way, but it will take about a year for all the data to make it home. NASA's New Horizon mission reveals how weird and unique Pluto really is. Pluto, the small icy celestial body at the back of the solar system, was downgraded from a regular planet to a dwarf planet in 2006. It has been known as just that for years, the planet that never was. But NASA's New Horizons mission, launched in the same year that Pluto was ripped of its planetary title, performed the first flyby study of Pluto and revealed that the dwarf planet's surface is surprisingly complex and unique. Pluto's surface differs from place to place. Barriers are dominated by ice made from methane in some places and nitrogen carbon monoxide or water in others. A heart-shaped region on Pluto known informally as Tombow Regio is made up of ice containing mostly nitrogen. Within the heart, there's a frozen plain scientists dubbed Sputnik Planum, a smooth icy terrain made up of polygon-shaped hills divided by troughs. Parts of Pluto's surface also contain many craters, suggesting that the surface was once geologically active. The flat landscape of the plains are interrupted by the towering peaks of two of Pluto's ice volcanoes, the 2.5-mile-high Wright Mons and the nearby Picard Mons. Pluto also has a dark region. It's dark because the surface is covered by tholins, which is the byproduct of atmospheric nitrogen and methane interacting with ultraviolet light. These observations and many others made during the New Horizons mission were published online Thursday in the journal Science, shedding new light on the remote dwarf planet.